Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm at the Shell Eco Marathon in Houston, Texas. This is a competition where participants try to build the most fuel efficient vehicle possible. The team that goes the furthest distance using the least amount of fuel will come out the winner. There are two types of vehicles permitted, prototype and urban concept. The prototype class is purely for maximum efficiency with minimal restrictions, whereas the urban concept vehicles are aimed at being more practical designs closer to production passenger cars. This DeLorean replica is an example of the urban concept vehicle. And although my Acura Integra can achieve an impressive 35 miles per gallon, cars in this competition will be hitting fuel economy numbers in the thousands of miles per gallon. There are several different fuel sources allowed for both internal combustion and electric mobility. Internal combustion fuels include 87 octane gasoline, diesel, ethanol, and GTL or gas liquid. You can also use hydrogen or battery electric power for the vehicles. 2014 marks the fifth year that the Shell Eco Marathon was held in Houston, Texas. Competitors must complete 10 laps, each 0.6 miles, for a grand total of 6 miles for each run. After completing the 10 laps around Discovery Green Park, Shell will measure the amount of fuel consumed. The fuel economy is measured by taking the total distance traveled and dividing it by the total volume of fuel used, while making corrections based on the temperature of the fuel before and after the run. In order to actually get out onto the track, teams must pass two inspections, a safety inspection and a technical inspection. I'll have an additional video explaining this in more detail. There's also a test track which teams can use to check their vehicles to ensure they're ready and set up correctly for the six mile course. Teams use a hypermiling technique known as coast and burn. This is where the teams will accelerate the vehicle up to a certain speed and then kill the engine. Once the engine is killed, fuel consumption is temporarily eliminated and so teams will coast as long as they can until they get down to a certain speed at which they'll have to turn the engine back on. Some of the more advanced teams will get around the 0.6 mile track, only burning the engine twice for about 6 to 8 seconds for each burn. So, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And stay tuned for some future videos on the Shell Eco Marathon. I'll have a couple videos, uh, one on the technical inspection which the teams must pass, as well as some team interviews uh, discussing the design methods and driving techniques used by some of the various different teams, including an interview with University Laval, who was one of this year's winners and the overall highest mile per gallon for 2014 uh, Shell Americas, and they achieved 2,824 miles per gallon.